In this video we will understand the main difference between electrical power and electrical energy. In the next video we will start a series of videos for answering the most asked electrical engineering interview questions. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Well, to understand the main difference between electrical power and electrical energy, we have first to understand the meaning of each terminology. We will start first with electrical energy, which represents the amount of work done that causes electric current to flow through a circuit. So, in this example, if we turn on the switch, the potential difference in this closed loop will cause current to flow through the circuit. The amount of work that is done in this circuit is energy. Electric energy here transferred from the power source to the lamp and will be converted into a light energy. As we increase the voltage, the amount of work will increase, which will cause more electrons to flow, and this will increase the amount of transferred energy. Electrical energy is measured in joule. Now, let's define electrical power. Electrical power is how much energy generated or consumed instantaneously. Or we could say the rate of transferred energy per unit time. So power is measured in joule per second or watt. So the main difference between electrical energy and electrical power is the time factor. If you think of electrical current as water, in a water tap, then its power is the flow rate at which the water travels at any instant. If the flow is directed at a bucket, then the amount of water collected in the bucket is the energy. So, electrical energy is the accumulation of power over time. Let's take a practical example. If we have a TV that has a rated power of 150 watts, which means that this TV will consume 150 Watt of power when we turn it on. But the question here is, this TV will work for how much time? This is energy. So energy is power times time. So if we turn on this TV for 3 hours, the power of this TV still is equal to 150 Watt. And the energy here will equal to 150 Watt times 3 hours which will equal to 450 watt hour. This is the consumed energy. And you will pay the electricity bills for how much total energy you consumed, not for power. In the next video, we will start a series of videos for answering the most asked interview questions for electrical engineers. Please feel free to check the resources down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.